Hi and welcome to this week's house church or small group. Uh, we are finishing up our series on Jonah. Um, uh, we're coming up this week to parish camp, so that's the end of this sermon series. And then following parish camp, uh, that's this weekend, um, we will then be looking at the renovation of the heart, which we're really looking forward to jump into as well. But uh, um, this Sunday, jo- um, we were looking at Jonah chapter 4, and uh, Adrian was speaking. And uh, um, he talked about a number of things, but one of the things he um, talked about was he shared how um, uh, a bit kind of a moving on from uh, Billy's talk on Jonah chapter 2, that when the cup gets bumped, what comes out from the inside? And in chapter 2, we saw that Jonah has this kind of deep um, connection with God. He is... uh, um, obviously memorized the psalms and 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 puts them into his context when he's inside the fish and pours out this longing song um, to God and that results in him being vomited out and then um, uh, saying yes to God uh, when God speaks to him the second time and he goes to Nineveh and he shares the good news um, actually he shares bad news but they take it as good news and they repent and what happens is is that Jonah goes outside the city um, and he uh, and what we see in him is what comes out of the cup is that he didn't want Nineveh to be saved. And he's grumpy about that. And he's grumpy about the tree that God makes for him that um, turns out to um, uh, you know, provide shade and not provide shade and the worm and all of that stuff. And he's just grumpy and he's grouchy. Uh, and it's interesting because that's what's inside Jonah. When he's tired, when he's spent, what happens, what comes out is that he's actually not that happy for other people to receive mercy. I wonder whether that's true in your life. I wonder when other people get blessed, how you feel. So if someone who's famous um, uh, does well in life, or when uh, somebody gets voted into parliament that you don't want to be voted into, or um, somebody wins something, or somebody gets a job when you thought you were going to get the job, or maybe one of your siblings gets a gift from your parents and you didn't get that um, Uh, or whatever it is, I wonder if you can just take a moment to allow the Spirit to nudge you to perhaps where there's somewhere in your life where you were not happy that somebody else was blessed. Because that's what we're invited into in the life for the kingdom. If we want to organize our life around Jesus, if we want to live our life as if he would live them if he were me, uh, then then I need to be blessing those, even those who persecute me. I need to be so glad when they are blessed. I need to desire that they would be. No matter what they've done to me, and in the case of Nineveh and Jonah, the Ninevites were horrendous people. I'm, I'm sure um, that Adrian was talking about that, about the, um, the violent way that they, uh, they were oppressive, and they were particularly oppressive to the Israelites. Um, and... And to those people, um, you can understand why Jonah would be hesitant to want mercy for them. But that's what God invites us into. To be merciful, as our Heavenly Father is merciful. To love as he loves. I wonder what that stirs in you. I hope you have some really good conversations around it. Diving into this mercy and this grace of God that we see lavished on Nineveh but that Jonah doesn't want. Bless you as you study together and be kind to yourselves.